everyone, and welcome to Resident Evil 4, first episode in our blind playthrough after finishing Code Veronica. We're finally getting straight into Resident Evil 4. I'm so excited to get to the game that changed the series. You know, I said it, uh, revolutionized it, took it away from the fixed camera angles, the classic Resident Evil formula, and gave us something a little bit different. Now, in terms of this type of Resident Evil sort of gameplay, I am I ha am familiar with it because I, again, like I said, like I think like it would be like almost 10 years ago at this point, played Resident Evil, uh, Resident Evil 5 with a, with a friend. And this was like 9, 10 years ago. And I'm so excited to revisit this era of Resident Evil finally playing the classic Resident Evil 4. So guys, get ready. I'm very excited. Let's get straight into it. Please do consider sticking around for the rest of the series and let's have fun. All right, I've looked into some settings, adjusted some things, ready to start a new game. For some reason, it won't let me turn the subtitles on in the options, so I'm going to have to have a look into when that'll let me, but it's, it's grayed out, so that's really strange. But Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. Yes. <laughs> Satisfying. Satisfying. 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Chris Redfield got what he wanted at the end of Code Veronica, apparently. <laughs> to dismantle Umbrella, all he had to do was let the stock market crash. Resident Six Evil Six years four. have passed since that horrendous incident. Oh, nice. Six years later. Hell yes. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Oh, yeah. Why am I the one who always gets me short in at the stake? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. It's a direct <laughs> order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. That guy's voice is so quiet, the dude in the front seat. Six years later. It was like a shot where it looks like Leon was literally looking directly into the camera. It was like, you know why I'm here. <laughs> it was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. <laughs> That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Oh, it's freezing. So cold all of a sudden. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Man, so. man almost got pinched.
Cool, cool, cool. Setting up the intro. Rescuing the president's daughter. That's where we're at. Six years later. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. <laughs> right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Huh? Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Yeah, you literally said that while the door was still open. <laughs> I hope you can hear me. Oh. With Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. I should check out that file. Leon looks so tired. Also, are we are we Metal Gear Solid now? Are we Metal Gear Solid in Resident Evil with our codec? <laughs> Literally communicate via the radio where it shows our faces. Straight into it though. Now we're in uh, now we're in gameplay and we can kind of kind of figure it all out. I love this look for for Leon to be honest. We got the lovely jacket jacket and jeans combo. No longer no longer wrapping the uh, the police the RPD uniform. It's been a it's been a little while. There isn't any Raccoon City anymore. This cat the camera is a the camera is a little interesting. So the camera will just turn with my character, and then I can kind of do a bit of this like up, down, left, right, um, which is strange. We have the ability to aim. We can whip the knife out. Do a bit of the old knife. Uh, this is the inventory screen. Now, oh, this is actually interesting because. Because of this, now I actually know that they're basing the Resident Evil 8 inventory system off of, off of this. So that's really cool. Uh, keys and treasures, key items, weapons recovery, map. So we can check the map out in here. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay, so we just get, we literally just got everything. Do we not find maps for the areas anymore? They're just literally just like, here's the entire world map, right, for you to explore. Um, it even points out where typewriters are. Uh, but if we look at the files, uh, he said to check everything out. So let's have a look at info on Ashley. So that's the president's daughter. Ashley Graham, 20, daughter of the United States president. She was kidnapped by an unidentified group while on her way home from her university. The kidnapper's motives are still unknown, although there's reliable information that the perpetrator is an insider. Only a handful of people know about this kidnapping. It's been kept under wraps mostly due to the fact that we can't determine who the traitor is. The guys in intelligence say they have reliable information that Ashley has been sighted somewhere in Europe. But until we find out who the insider is, I don't know what to believe. It could be a ploy. We have very few leads as to the whereabouts of Ashley, but members of the Secret Service and anyone else related to Ashley are being questioned by an investigative team. Even active agents are being investigated for any information. It's just a matter of time before the kidnapper is exposed. So Leon's now doing some like secret mission stuff instead, which is cool. Um, we're getting shown the playing manual and how to do things, which is great. The action button. Changing the camera angle. Cool. That's it. Communication log. Ah, a communication log. Okay, that's cool. So we can actually see the communications that's gone through. That's a that's a neat touch in case you forget anything that's been spoken about. All right, let's let's move in. Yep, we got our quick turn that way. So we're checking out this house. Someone's in there already. We're not alone. I'm really interested to see what's what's gonna happen in, in this game. I'm so I'm just like so excited. 
finally at Resident Evil 4, finally in a new new era of Resident Evil, where I don't have to press a button to walk upstairs. It does it automatically. Check. There are various small items on the shelf. Nothing particularly unusual here. Someone's having a bit of a cough. Excuse me, sir. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Que carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Okay. Freeze. Freeze. I said freeze. Oh, right into <laughs> right into it. Uh, okay. Well, that's well, well that escalated quickly shit I've got people outside Everything okay there was a hostile local I had no choice but to neutralize him there are still others surrounding the area get out of there and head toward the village take whatever measures necessary to save the subject understood whatever measures necessary all right we're just getting attacked by not even zombies just like locals 1100 PTAS He's not a zombie, okay. Also, another thing, this happened again, is I didn't get the option to pick a difficulty when I pressed new game. It just took me right into the game, just like Code Veronica. Is there not a difficulty setting? Like... And look, I still can't turn subtitles on. What's the deal? Why are subtitles just permanently off? That's really strange. I need to see if there's a difficulty setting because it didn't even let me let me pick. I'm gonna have a look. So I've literally checked from what I can see you start off on normal difficulty by default and then it unlocks a pro difficulty once you complete the game so I'm automatically set on normal and the game doesn't have English subtitles. The only way to get subtitles is to play the game in another language uh, is what I've what I found. So as much as I want to be able to provide you guys with subtitles so you can like read what's being said as well, I can't, uh, which which really sucks because I I really appreciate having subtitles provided because uh, they're just they're just there to to help. Um, so unfortunately, guys, no subtitles uh, in RE4, um, but let's. Maybe run up the stairs so we can get like a... Oh, we can jump out. Oh, they're just waiting outside. Menacingly. They're just standing there. Menacingly. Interesting. So we're not fighting zombies right now. We are... Nice. Uh, we are fighting angry villagers who appeared out of nowhere. i got to say, this, this third-person perspective on... Resident Evil is very kind of like claustrophobic. You're, we're so. Oh, looks like they've killed a lot of people. Yeah, it's the maggots. I hope Ashley's okay. Um, yeah, it's a very claustrophobic third-person angle. It's like literally anchored, like there. I kind of wish there was an option to like push the camera out like slightly, um, but I guess like that's that's the point. To be honest, is to just keep it like this. Something is burning in the fire, but I can't tell what it is. Well, I can see a hand. So, probably a person. Is there anyone inside at the moment? We're just going to check everything while we're literally being, like, invaded. Something rotten is caked on the table. It seems like someone was eating here until just recently. Like, I kind of wish there was, like, a strafing, a strafing option. But there isn't. Not an option to strafe. I also feel like jumping out of the, the top window would be a bad idea. Ah, oh, they must be pressing against it from the other side. 
I actually have to jump out the window. Can I jump out this window? I can. Oh god! That was quick, guys. Jesus. Oh! Oh! Run! Dude! I need to remember that quick turn exists. Oh no. Dude, these guys are quick! And weird! Ah! Make sure I get him in the head. What are you doing, jump? <laughs> no! <laughs> why do they why do they move like that? Oh, the laser sight is the laser sight is so good. Oh, I can't. I have to reload like a normal person. No, I can't do my little reload hack. Down you go. I got seven hundred dollars. It's just dollars, bro. It's just dollars. A thousand dollars where I'm rich. Take the green herb. Yes, I will. Um, I don't need to use it at this stage. It's really funny because, like, the enemies run at you so funny. Like, they're actually, like, terrifying in how they look. Like, they look awful. Uh, and they'll just fucking run at you. But then when it gets, like, close to combat, then they just slow down. And they go, all right, we'll give you time to shoot us in the head if you want. <laughs> Meanwhile, that guy's trying to, like, climb over this thing. And it's, like, super glitchy. Cool. As if I can't combine my handgun bullets into my gun. That's a shame. So there was, like, a car here that dropped off. Ah, oh, it was that car that was there blocking the path. And it dr dropped some people off and then drove off. I wonder if I can do that. What happened here? Okay, the bridge is out. And... Look down. Damn, it took both of them out. I just rammed the old car off. Oh no. Where are the officers? Well, I hope they got out in time. Maybe. Let's push through to the village, apparently. There's a typewriter. Cool. Oh, hang on. There was a crate. Um, wasn't there. Like, those things that you can, like, bust open over here. Let me go have a look at that. It's kind of cool how the bodies stay. Nice. $1,200. Not really liking how that dog sounds. So much money! Another green herb, yeah. More handgun ammo, yes. Is there ink ribbons here? Or can we just save? I don't think we have ink ribbons anymore, which is cool. We just save at typewriters still. Unlimited ink typewriters because the world has changed. Normal difficulty. Wonderful. Cool. Okay, so save points are still typewriters. But we have evolved past the need. Evolved past the need to have um, ink ribbons. Which I appreciate. Where's this dog at? I wish I could kind of... Pan the camera around and look to the side while still walking. This doesn't look ominous whatsoever. This looks just normal. It looks like a warning of some sort. Really? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, you're in a trap. Buddy. No. Help. But... Poor little guy. Um, so that's been disarmed. And there's one here as well. Jesus, I didn't even know that was a thing. Can I, like, disarm it? By looking at it? 
Alright, just don't walk in it, I guess. Alright, we can't disarm it. There's literally bear traps! Like, what the hell? <laughs> just on, on the ground. Don't go off of the of the main path, or I'm going to literally lose a leg. Me not trusting the dog noise, only to see that it's literally just a dog in terrible pain. I'm like, no. Must save. Oh, he literally got, like, trip mine stuff going on as well. God damn. Does that mean I have to waste a bullet on this? Can I walk around it at all? Yes. Awesome. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on. Hang on. We're going back this way. Lure them into the trap. Lure them into the trap. Come on. Crazy villagers. Oh, damn it. That didn't work. Hang on. We got this. Yeah! Woo! I didn't get any... He didn't drop any items, though. Them dying with their uh, eyes open like that. I don't really like that. <laughs> Hello? Alright. So, he didn't drop any items. I wonder if that's because he died envi like via an environmental hazard and not because I like put some damage on him. That might be why. We get like literally like battle music playing when there's enemies. So at least we kind of know when to when to chill out a bit. But we're just going to literally have random villagers attacking us. Oh. We're just going to have random villagers just yelling and attacking us. Where are you? Okay, over there. There's just two of them, and they're just standing there. Menacingly. Oh, that... That, uh... Steady aim. Not very good. Alright, you just stay there, and let me look in here. Unfortunately, can't shoot him from there. Oh! Guess there's no sex discrimination here. <laughs> what? Better find her first. Alright, they, yes, they do kill women as well. Good observation, Leon. Uh, take the other green herb, yep. No, oh, it's possible for there to be nothing? God damn. The inventory is super interesting. Like, do we, are we still going to have item boxes? I like how much space we can have. This is probably, like... We're moving into more of like an action-y based experience where it's like the gear and the items you have instead of here's your six item slots and you need to kind of, it's more like focused on survival horror. This is like bringing a bit more action into the mix, it seems. Hello? Don't run at me. Don't run at me because then I, I'm not very good at shooting you. Oh, you can kick him. Oh my god, when they run. Please stop. Chill out. Ooh, okay. Knife did knife did pretty good actually. You can actually get a decent amount with a knife. Damn it. You really can't do that. How do you just reload? Is there a button that I can press to just reload without shooting? Do I just have to... Hang on. Let me check the controls again. Uh, button configuration. Oh, LT and A is reload. Okay. Cool. That was pretty, pretty standard button combination. My god, leave me alone! Run away or something, yeah, run away. Run away. Don't attack me. Just let me live. I'm not coming in here to kill everyone. I wish that I could walk when I'm... Like, yeah, I'm, I'm stuck standing still. Like, the ability to aim and move would be really good. Sarah, I know you're here. I know you're there! Fucking... God damn it, man! 
Reveal yourself to me so I can swipe at you. Without wasting ammo. Oh, what? Okay. This is... Okay, I don't like it. I don't like it. Yes. Okay, so... The goal... The goal there is shoot them, and then while they're staggering, give them a bit of the old... Uh, bit of the old swipe with the knife and that's great because then they don't really have time to recover so that's cool I mean we have a decent amount of um, decent amount of ammo but I don't want to waste it literally in the beginning of the game oh this is pretty this is a nice little village entrance this doesn't look terrifying open the creepy door that's cool no loading, like, door opening animation. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. <laughs> I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. A playing manual. Controller configuration changes are not reflected here. Reloading. Kicking. Approaching enemies that are either stunned or on their knees will allow Leon to perform kicks. Nice. Uh, changing inventory screens, LB and RB, both behind all the things. Yep, cool. No worries. Thanks for that. Thanks for that, Hunnigan. I'm going to call you Honey for short. This village is crazy. Oh, okay. They got wild chickens. Don't trust him. What the hell? Only one of them? Jesus Christ. Well, that's fun. What kind of village is this? Who lives in a place like this? Peacefully, everyone just woke up, decided to move here, and just choose violence. They were just like, yep, what if we just were the crazy ones? I hate everything about this. <laughs> There is chance for another one of the guys to be alive, because there's only one. Ooh. <laughs> Cat broom. Can we, like, sneak past them? I doubt it. I think we've got a fight on our hands. The one that's just walking around going, Cat broom. Imagine if there was like a stealth opportunity. Like, can I go go and sneak up behind one and kill them? Can I get a stealth kill here? Oh, that roundhouse! Roundhouse kick. Okay, run away. I've alerted every... Oh, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. Holy shit. There's a dude on the roof. There's a dude on the roof. There's a dude on the roof. Ooh. What's that? Take the brown chicken egg. Oh my god. Chickens are laying eggs. Leave. Scare the chickens so they lay eggs. They're literally just laying eggs everywhere because they're scared. Is there one behind me? What the... F oh no. Dude, there's so many people! What the fuck? Oh, they're throwing shit at me! No! What the fuck? They're so strong! No! Roundhouse kick! Just don't throw me to the ground, lady! Let me quickly ingest! Dude, uh, I'm already out of my health. Um, Jesus Christ, man! No, I'm bad at this! The camera angle is awful. Get out of my life! Dude, no! Oh, there's a fucking... Get the fuck out! <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? There's so many people! Stop walking, you've lost your head already! There's just more. Okay, there's just more. Okay. Yep. 
Yep, there's just more. What do the brown chicken eggs do? Just fucking... Ooh, baby. Alright, there's a good amount of herbs everywhere. This is stressful as fuck. Alright, uh, there's... Yep. Anyone else? Oh, why are there so many people? Dude! Take the cow, not me! Take the cow. No, quick, I don't have time! Yellow herb? What does a yellow herb do? That's new. If these guys were a bit more slow and didn't run after me, I'd feel I feel a bit better. How do I get up on the roof? Oh shit. There's literally a character in there and there's a dude in there! What the fuck? Why these people? There's someone in there! No! I just wasted so many bullets that I could have just run in here. Dude, holy fuck. Oh, at least I got money, I guess. Jesus Christ, many small insects. Guys, what if we... What if we didn't break into the house? Ooh, take the shotgun. Give me that. Give me stuff. Get ready to fight. Hell yes, okay. Hang on, check something else. The bed is heavily stained. No one slept in it for quite some time. Oh, that shotgun is huge. Oh, we have a maximum amount of handgun ammo that we can carry. Okay. What can I do with the yellow herb? Mixing it with a green herb will increase your maximum health. Is it just halfway in between like a... Halfway in between a green and a red. Brown chicken egg restores health. You can also equip it, so I guess I can throw it if I want. That's cool. How how thought how thoughtful. I'm gonna be like anxiously um, anxiously arranging this inventory. Egg. Make sure we keep our eggs all all collected. I'm gonna be using one of these um, grenades soon. Oh my god! <laughs> it's literally just a dude. No, what if I, dude? Get out of here! Knock down the ladder. This is like Helm's Deep. What? No! Oh! Kick him! No, kick him! <laughs> no! Die, sir! Oh! <laughs> no, I didn't know that the chainsaw dude was literally right there! You are dead! Holy f the chainsaw dude was right there! <laughs> Holy fuck! I didn't expect so many fucking people! Alright. Interesting. Shall we try this one again? With, like, less killing people, because there's going to be just endless NPCs. There's just going to be endless en uh, enemies, it seems, until I get into that house. So I just need to, like, run around, get some items. How do I clear out all the enemies? Do I just have to fight them off? Like... Should I wait for these guys to lay some more eggs? There's unfortunately, like, no stealth killing opportunity, which kind of bugged me. I was like, what if I just snuck up behind a zombie and just, like... Jabbed a knife in her head, but no. Let me grab that. Cat, bro. Got a door here. Alright, everybody now knows that I'm here. That's great. We're picking stuff up. Alright, we're in here before. Yep. Come on. I don't have time to waste. No, 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 no. I can... I can feel them watching me. Jump out the window. Take out this lady. Don't throw that thing at me, lady. Oh, a red herb. No! Oh, I'm not good at that. Oh. Come on. Cool. 
No! Stop throwing shit at me! Uh, there's a chainsaw already? There's already a chainsaw, dude? Where's the chainsaw, dude? Stop throwing shit at me! Oh! Holy shit! Weird church door. Dude, this is stressful as hell and everything is like so like the coloration of everything is so kind of dull that everything blends into each other. So like the herbs just blend into their environments like really easily. Like I missed that green herb that was sitting on top of those like logs before. Chickens, can you lay some more eggs for me to pick up please? Jesus, man. What's the dude up on the roof doing? So I have to get into that house. Stop throwing shit at me! I can climb up here. Nice. Ooh. Shotgun shells, eh? Well, that's gonna come in handy in a sec. Jump down! I No fall damage, apparently. Oh, God! I have to go that way, but I need to go... Oh, I need to go in this house. Stop throwing shit at me. Everyone's just willingly throwing all of their weapons. All right, guys, I thought that stuff would be useful if you kind of keep it on hand. Can we scare some chickens? The water is awfully dirty. No way I'm drinking this. How you doing over there, guys? I need to kind of lure you away from that house because I actually need to get into it. Oh my god! They're so slow, but so fast, but so terrifying, and they're throwing all their shit at me all the time. This is so much more engaging than previous one. That chainsaw dude, oh my god. So much more engaging than the previous ones. Um, except for the fact that the controls are still kind of, it's so like weird to get used to. What are they planning? Oh my god, the shotgun dude. I mean, the chainsaw dude. I'm gonna put a shotgun in him so quickly. Alright, let's uh, let's quickly sort this sh shit out. I need to get this thing. And then I need to get the money. Give me the money. I don't even know why I'm collecting money at this point. I just am. Up the stairs. Get the shotgun. Get the grenade. Yep, get the money. Get the shotgun shells. Okay, we gotta be prepared to like wreck a. Gotta be prepared to like wreck a chainsaw dude. There he is, down there. Oh, what? Come on. Don't throw shit at me, lady. I got a ladder to look out for. Get down, you fucking ladder. Nope. She's gonna throw that shit at me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, all of you. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's right there. We're shotgunning. We're shotgunning. Whoa, baby. I don't trust you. Yeah, he's not dead. No, 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 no! Yes! No! <laughs> dude! Not the chainsaw, dude! Please go down, sir. There's just more. There's more. There's more. Oh! Going into church? Yo. Where's everyone going? <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> Leon, Resident Evil. Four. What an opening. Back to the codec. Honey, 
I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Dude, what the fuck? So there's like that church over there. I mean, I didn't really ring the mysterious bell achievement, but that's fine. That over there. That's, that's bizarre. Interesting as hell though, that's for sure. Just gonna keep everything kind of, you know, together, organized. Uh, oh, if I move it together, it automatically combines. That's not what I meant to do, but I mean, I'll, I'll do it. I'll accept it. I need to get used to that to make sure I don't do that by accident. Um, but that's cool. Let's do this. Now I need to be careful about like putting stuff on top of each other. Should I look for some, should I look for some eggs? Anyone? Oh, I forgot I had that equipped. Let's equip that. Any chickens got any eggs for me? Yes. Nice. To restore that partial health. A normal chicken. Can I just scare you off? Lay an egg for me. Lay an egg for me. Lay me an egg. I got you trapped. I got you trapped. That's right. Lay an egg for me. I demand it. Can I get him? Yes, nice. Okay, I was I was wondering if I would get an egg from that. I just murdered an innocent chicken. Now everyone from the village will come and attack me because that's the video game logic behind killing village chickens, right? That cow? Nothing has phased that cow, by the way. That cow's just chilling the fuck out. I could have literally just gotten this stuff after all of the enemies ran away, so that's cool. A flash grenade, yes. Different types of grenades is really cool. Actually having the option to, like, throw grenades is sweet. Um, what's that? What's this way? That's like a whole ass area. That is a whole ass area down here. But it looks like we're supposed to be going that way. I'm gonna go the way that the game wants me to. That church that they all went into, like, goes into a whole other area of itself as well. Like, look at that. This is, this area is huge. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. This is like the crazy, hectic, like, beginnings of a blind playthrough, which I kind of love, where I just get, like, thrown straight into the deep end. Because I'm not allowing myself to, like, look at, like, story or gameplay stuff b before getting into a game blind. <laughs> That's tucked away in there. Nice. How do I get that? I need to get up there. Can I, like, climb up on this? No. I need to get... Cool. I just kicked the door down and broke it to pieces, and now it's back again? Okay. That's fine. That makes sense. How do I get out onto the roof? Can I... step out onto here? Yep. And then walk around yeah nice now what's this i got the spinel what the hell is that it's not for my inventory uh it'd be a key item right key treasure treasure although small in size it appears to have some value i guess i could sell it for for money i have so much money what the hell am i doing with money I guess we're going that way. Are these villagers going to become nice all of a sudden and we'll be able to exchange goods and services and just have like a lovely time like like nothing ever happened? We we never even we never even shot each other's faces off, guys. It was just all for fun. I think I've done a pretty good sweep of the area. I think I've I've uh, I've done well. So let's, let's inspect this body and move on. What in God's name? If only he'd come with me. 
Awesome. All right, so we can't go here, so this will be shut. It's locked and won't open. There's some kind of symbol on the door. Maybe I have to uh, ring the uh, ring the church bell, and it'll open like it did for um, for those guys. So they go into more of like they they kind of just crazy angry villagers. And then when the bell rings, they start, like, going into almost, like, a zombie-like state. Because they're kind of, like, all just mumbling. And don't really have any... They don't... They don't have any sort of, uh, control. Uh, nothing in here. I'm, like, excited for myself to, like, get used to... <laughs> to, like, get used to the controls and, like, how everything works. Because at the moment, it's been pretty crazy to, like get used to the movement and like whipping out the knife which is great that the knife isn't part of the inventory i think that's uh i think that's really nice i appreciate that we're running out of inventory space pretty quickly so i'm wondering if we actually are going to come across an instance of having an item box which would be great but the shotgun is absolutely huge let's take this Alert order. Pictures of us. Alert order. Recently there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. Well, yes, you have clarified. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Chief Batoris Mendez. Cool. So that's just a warning. So they know, that, they know who we are, really. So they're just ready to fuck us up at a at a moment's notice so that's that's something that can be really appreciated i'm really enjoying how this has started like story wise i'm very intrigued as to what is going to be happening in this game and then like gameplay wise it's it's fun i'm excited to experiment more with these grenades i'm stressed <laughs> about fighting these goddamn enemies because they're insane whipping out that shotgun dude uh, the chainsaw dude straight away like my god the opening door animation is very interesting. Like, instead of just going through the door, it does, like, a weird little flash thing that I don't really like. Alright, we've still got enemies. And we've got hanging blue medallions. One, two, at the moment. Okay, so the church bell got rid of some of the angry guys, but there's still a whole bunch more. A lot of eggs, though. Gotta appreciate the... Gotta appreciate the eggs. Let's check this. About the blue medallions. 15 blue medallions. 7 in the farm. 8 in the cemetery. For those of you who destroy 10 or more will be awarded. The rest is illegible. So as long as I destroy 10. Okay, so I guess I just have to sacrifice... Um, how, much, how much does this heal? I don't know. A tiny amount. Should I, um, should I clear out this area first? Because, like, this is just going to alert them. Or can I? Come on. Come on. I'm right in front of it. Come on. I'm right in front of it. Oh, that's a, that's a real shame. It really won't let me get this one at a, uh, at a nice reach. I think I've got to clear out this area before I do it. Because as soon as I shoot, they're going to come, like, and attack me, right? Are there going to be, like, limited zombies in each area? Like, gen genuinely, will there be, like... Like, I'm scared that there's going to be, like, an infinite number of them if I trigger an encounter. Did someone just throw something at me? This guy? No, but he's just chilling up here. God damn it, man. 
I thought I was about to roundhouse kick you. Is he dead? No. Now you are. Dude, that whole shake off thing. Oh! Get kicked. Get off of my goddamn thing. I couldn't even kick him off the edge. Alright, this is much better. Then I can just lure everyone up here, right? You can just climb up and I can just take you out one by one. Let's combine this together. Green and yellow, two different herbs, maximum health. It increases your maximum health and restores health by a small degree. So this increases my health. Oh, that's nice. So a yellow herb is a is a health increase. That's neat. Let's eat an egg. Nice. I wonder if it's a temp is it a temporary increase or is it a yellow herbs or a permanent health increase? That's my question. Okay. It didn't alert everyone in the place, which is interesting. It's just like whoever's in the vicinity, I guess. I'm s uh. That's really good. I like being able to knife them on the ground, though. I need to I need to learn to attack them from a distance first because trying to knife them straight off the bat just leaves me straight like wide open for an attack and I keep getting killed. Also, the eggs disappeared. Are the eggs only temporary? God damn it. Oh, the eggs actually restore a decent amount of health. God damn. The eggs are like a green herb almost. Lay more. Lay more eggs, please. I need eggs. Alright, I'm gonna destroy this medallion with my gun. There you go, now I've woken them all up. Hello! I was just shooting your precious medallion, sir. Just let me live. Is there another one coming around? Or is it just you? No! no! Oh, I shot the thing! You can shoot the thing! That's cool! I can shoot the goddamn things that they throw. That's insanely good. That's hard, but insanely good. Everyone's got so much money. That is not a blue medallion. Man, it stinks. Can I shoot this? It looks like more of an item. Can I close the lid and then get the medallion? If I shoot this, it looks like it's going to fall into the, the, the stinky maggot water. Hmm. Because that's like, sh like, shining like an item, but these these don't. These are these are different. I really don't want to risk this, because what if I, like, shoot it and then it falls into this water and then I can't... I can't even do anything about this, to be honest. I'm going to leave that for now until I can, like, save the game and then experiment with it. Oh, nice. I can save the game and experiment with it. Looks like I can have 20, 20 save slots. I'm playing on an Xbox One. And my space is limited. I wish they would be able to like actually like adjust this amount of saves you can make on games that have like, you know, a further along. Like I'm on a future console now. Let me, let me please. Okay, I just shoot it down. And now I can take it because now it's dirty. <laughs> dirty pearl pendant. So that'll another be that'll be another key item. Can I can I wash it somewhere? There's another medallion. Really trying to line up this shot from a distance, but it's better to just get closer, I guess. 3 out of 15. Alright, there weren't as many people in this village area that I thought. A lot of cows, though. A lot of cows. 
Whenever there's an whenever there's not an item in a barrel or a crate, my my soul is slightly crushed. Nothing here except a stinking pool of manure. There's another dog. Hello. I can't believe this. These are all dead bodies. Mmm, tasty. Hey, buddy. Off you go. You okay? What are you doing? <laughs> well, you're not attacking me. So I'm just gonna let you- I'm just gonna let you exist. This is nice. We haven't been attacked by dogs get yet. And that's like a Resident Evil staple that I that I hate is getting attacked by getting attacked by dogs. So doing doing pretty good for ourselves, I'll say. Is this pointing out what's the blue? What are the blue icons? Are they like blue med ah, they're blue medallions that I haven't yet. So if I run past them, they mark themselves on the map. Okay, cool. So there's some blue medallions that I haven't seen yet. Where is it here? Nice. Gotta be gotta be thorough in this area. Jump over here. The blue medallion might be around this way somewhere. The aiming, the aiming is very slow. The aiming is very slow. Oh, it's going on a windmill. That's great. Where is this one? That's like. It's saying that it's like on this level. I think. Just taking our taking our time in this episode and like exploring and just making sure making sure that we're getting everything. I don't want to miss anything. Especially in a game like this, where we kind of just need to make sure that we are prepped with as many items as possible. Alright, let's have a look. Up here. There you are. Six, baby. I just need ten, right? There's another one all the way at the end. So ominous as well, like there isn't like anything that's like really musical outside of the outside of just like the battle stuff. I actually need to get up there to to go that way, okay. Oh, Okay. Weird. How do I... Oh, there's a bunch of... things in front of it. here. I forgot that I can actually open these things. I got another treasure. I need to look for those cabinets. I need to like actually get used to the things that I can find that I can do shit. Uh, this I just can't push. Because there's stuff in the way. I can't push it in a general direction so maybe I have to wait for that one in particular. That's the way that I'm supposed to go. Yeah, I have to climb up and go this way if I want to check out this other blue medallion. So let's do that. So the other blue one is over here. There. There's a chance to miss it here. Oh, that was... Oh, that, that hurt. No, I didn't mean to knock that down. Please tell me I can put it back up. <laughs> Wasted three bullets there. Just for just for me needing to get closer. Are you kidding me? 
Oh my god. Was it worth it, guys? Not really. I just needed some patience. Well, that's all the ones in this area. So, barred from the other side. With a little help from another person, maybe I can climb over. Is that hinting? Is that hinting at something? I think we're I think we're good to move on. And then we can look for the blue medallions in the next area for a reward. So where are we now? Village area. And okay, so that goes around this into another little save area. It's interesting that they just mark out all of this the typewriters. They even have submissions. Everything's just marked out on our map for us. <sighs> There's the rest of the blue medallion, so once we can go that way we can go check those out. Interesting. Another warning? I've seen this signpost before, yeah, it's just another warning. <laughs> Not the giant boulder. Where's Chris Redfield when you need him? Holy shit. Look how fast I'm running, dude! <laughs> I went, look how f I was running unnaturally fast and I didn't run fast enough. I was mashing the shit out of, of the X button. That's a joke. Holy shit. What? Okay, at least retrying is from when we were last here. Dude, I'm mashing this X button. Leon looks like he's moving unnaturally fast. All right, let's just mash it a bit faster. I, and then it hits you with the XA dodge at the end. Jesus, man. What kind of Crash Bandicoot shit is that? No, thank you. Everyone's out to get me. No, I just want to make... I just want to make friends. Where are they? They're just chilling, like, somewhere in the... Up there? I just want to make friends, guys. Oh, wait. This is where I just came from. getting so confused as to where I am. Everything looks the... No! Everything looks the goddamn same. Oh, this looks great. There's items on the roof. More treasures? Do I gotta shoot them to get them down? So you gotta s spend some bullets to get some treasures. Nice. That bat better leave me the hell alone. Leave me alone, bat. I don't have time. Oh, okay. Hello. Uh, next group of enemies. Just another. Just, yep. Hello. Oh, he's leaving. Okay. What are they? What are they holding? Oh, hello. Holy shit. What the fuck? He's just throwing firecrackers at me. Has everyone got? Oh. God damn it. Oh, for God's sake. I'm going to die in a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a minute to just recover here, sir. Can you just take himself out? Oh my God. I'm getting spammed. I'm just going to die. Give me my health back, sir. Look at him go. So everyone's just got goddamn firecrackers. That's fun. That's exciting. Good little good little checkpoints in there though that I appreciate. Alright, so let's just watch out for the goddamn firecracking maniacs. Hey? How about that? So there's one here, and then he just leaves. Oh! So now he's actually throwing them. Dude! Throw another one, I dare you. Oh, damn it. I was supposed to make you drop it. I'm trying to make him, like, drop the thing. 
Then does it blow up? No. I'm trying to... Why won't you drop it? That's rude. Like, he's literally... There we go. Like, he's literally lit the thing up. Dude! Give me a... Give me a moment of peace. Ah! The fucking god! Throwing it at me like that. Give me a sniper rifle or something. These guys are ridiculous. I barely even entered the area. And they're just hammering me with these goddamn firecrackers. He left me alone before. He chilled out. Jesus. Stop it. Lovely. No! Nice. That's what we like to see. We like it when they blow each other up. Nice. Do hand grenades stack? No, they don't. They're a separate item. Alright, here's what it is. Doors nailed shut. No clues here. So that dude was just gonna stand in there and just goddamn snipe me with firecrackers. And there's bear traps on the ground as well that I need to watch out for. And a spider. I can't see. How much room have I got here? How much wiggle room have I got to, to not die? Between these goddamn traps. You leave me alone. I don't trust spiders in this goddamn game. Alright. Cool. Uh, we got a area with a typewriter up ahead. It's like a nest. Can we shoot the can we shoot the nest out? Nice. There's so many goddamn things around this place. A red cat's eye. There's so many things to like look up for, which is really cool. And making real good use of those 3D environments by actually like giving them a purpose and actually giving us stuff to look for as well, which I really like. It's not just everything is still exactly the same as it was when it was fixed camera. Okay, so it looks like we're going into a house. We're going into a house. Let's prep ourselves for it. Was this locked for a reason, though? Oh, guys, we're getting, like, so many typewriters, but you know what, you know what we're getting? No save room music. There's no there's no safety in this game. I don't feel safe. <laughs> Everything is just pain. You only get the save room music when you're actually in the typewriter itself. In the typewriter itself is when it happens. Alright. Save successful. Good to know. Good to good to know. Alright, another trap. Another trap. What are we looking like we're going into here? Another another area here. God damn, man. God damn. Alright, let's... If only there was like a crouch... If only there was like a crouch option. That would be that would be cool, right? Um, but it seems that we've got to shoot it. I've got to use one of these grenades soon as well. Well, I've got enough... I've got enough handgun ammo. So let's just do that. No crouch option available. Just another one as well? God damn. Am I even supposed to be in here? Oh yeah, I gotta push this drawer out of the way. So if I want to get into that cabinet, I gotta do this. Was it worth it for a green herb? Always, baby. Always worth it for a green herb. Let's push this. Who's 
banging on something, man. Leave me alone. Let me live. Is it someone in the cupboard? Who's in the cupboard? Who's in the cupboard? Get out. A little rough, don't you think? Oh, you're not like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. You gotta smoke. <laughs> got gum. Oh, no. Perfect. The big cheese. What? Oh. Leon! What are you doing? You idiot. <laughs> Leon just literally is just like, yeah! Roundhouse kick the dude, gets thrown onto the ground. Done. Hit ratio 82%. Not, not too bad, guys. 82%. I'm fine with that. Three deaths. End of chapter 1-1. One, one. So that's that's chapter 1-1. One, one. We've encountered the big chief and literally had our ankle twisted and done into a backflip. So that's a that's a nice little uh, nice little cliffhanger there as we move into chapter 1-2, where I guess maybe we're just going to be prisoner with this uh, with this other dude who wants to smoke. But guys, I'm gonna take a moment here as we're at the end of chapter 1-1. One, one. Is a good good little moment there for us to end this episode here and continue next time. Uh, I've had a blast so far. This is off to a great start. I'm I'm loving uh, loving getting used to the the third person perspective in Resident Evil again, and and checking it all out. It's actually so fucking fun. So thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. Let me know what you think, and please do consider sticking around for for the rest of the series. As uh, if you're if you're new here and just coming in for Resident Evil Four, I've been playing. Uh, the rest of the series uh, in in order. So at the moment, uh, we've just finished Code Veronica um, onto Resident Evil 4, and then we'll do 5, 6, 7 on Madhouse difficulty, and then Resident Evil 8 once it comes out. We'll also be looking into uh, the Revelations series, so uh, definitely consider checking it out. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.